Hi there folks, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This one is on handwriting recognition using Windows 7 Home Premium. That's a long sentence, isn't it? Um, two things you need to do or to have to do this. First you need Windows 7 Home Premium or higher. Any of the higher operating systems will do it as well. And also you need the Wacom tablet, a Bamboo or an Intuos. And it's got to be one with the pen. The Bamboo Touch, you can't do it. Um, if you've got Windows 7 Home, the basic operating system from Microsoft, it's not going to work because they didn't build this module into that operating system. Okay, so there's a couple things you got to do to get started. you got to find the tablet input panel, and we're going to do that. So what you do is you go to the search box right here, and you type in tablet input. Okay, and it comes up with tablet PC input panel and this is it. This is the thing. You've got uh, an on-screen keyboard so you can just tap 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 with your pen to type something or oh, this is the, the one that's fun. This is where you where you do something and I guess it can't... oh pff, run! Can you believe it? Right. Now I'm gonna hit this delete button and watch right above here and what it does. It shows you how to do it. There. Okay, so I got rid of it. Now you need a document to put this into, don't you? So here's a document and here's my paddle my paddle, my panel. Okay, so this is the panel. Panel. I love that font. That is such a cool font. Enter, enter. Uh, right. And insert. There we go. It got it. It figured out what I wrote. And there you can go up here now and and do your your formatty things, bold it and underline it or do that to it. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's as simple as that. If you do uh, hi, okay, hi that air. Okay, that's wrong. So I want to get rid of air. So I can get rid of that. Okay, so. Now I want to correct. Correct. T H E R E. Insert. There. It did it. So there's lots of things you can do with this. You can correct, you can delete, you can split, you can join. Over here in the tools menu, there's a kind of a cool thing. It's called to personalize the handwriting recognition. And what you do is you choose your language and you teach to recognize your handwriting style. You would do sentences and you could do numbers, symbols, and letters. I haven't started this one yet, but I've done a few of these. So you, what you're going to do is write a few sentences and it's going to recognize how you do things and get, make it better. So what you got here is adventure. That's terrible. Printing, isn't it? I don't, uh, I guess I don't write used whoops ski equipment period okay next now I've got uh, another one there's 50 of them so you can go through and you can uh, do all 50 of these and it'll get better and better and better so I'm just gonna cancel that yeah I'm gonna update the recognizer so that's how you can use it there. Now the other thing you've got is go back to your start menu. Uh, under the search box you type in journal. And it comes up with Windows Journal. You, there it is. This is the Windows Journal. And you can see it's uh, some icons across the top, some colors, uh, digital paper with lines on it, and you can draw pictures. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I'm still there. I can draw my star, I can change the colors, I can color it in if I want. Terrible coloring. I think I will go back to, well, I'll do that one and I'm going to go back to black. And I can write stuff. I can make notes. So if you're on a conference call, you can make notes. If you're in a classroom, you can actually make notes too. This, you can take this little ropey thing. 
do this. Now you've got it selected. And now, let's see if this works. Convert the handwriting to text. Write stuff. Look at that. It got it. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, or I can insert it in the same journal note, but I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. So it's copied to the clipboard. We can go back here. A couple spaces. Edit. Paste. Write stuff. I brought it over from there. So that's another thing you can do. Now something different. If you're doing a lot of digital editing, so say we're, we're doing this picture, we're doing something with this. Primarily that's what I do. Um, let's get our layers up here. Maybe you don't care about this stuff, but I'll show you you can do it anyways. Layers, or levels. Okay, so here's our levels, and we got a panel over here, and I'll just make it a bit brighter. Darken down the mid-tone contrast, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I like that. Now I want to save this. File, save as. Now you see this? There's a little tablet input panel. So I can I can enter a name for this. And I can do SO. Come on. Well, I want to correct it. There, okay. Pump. There we go. Insert. Inserts it in here. Save it. Okay. So it's useful that way too. You can, once you figure out how to use it correctly, you can you can get all these things done easily and quickly. So that's the tablet input panel. It's on Windows 7 Home Premium. It's surprisingly effective and efficient. Now I don't think I'll use it very much, but there I see people visiting my site are. Uh, a lot of them are visiting for handwriting recognition so you know this is it this is how it works it works quite well so I hope you have found this interesting and useful um, pay my site a visit this all the information on Windows 7 home premium is there and I do appreciate your time and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, here's my website down here by the way so you know where to visit okay so thanks for watching I appreciate it